My name is Shannon and I'm 29 years old. As a child I was very active, riding bikes, making up dances, just joking around, playing hide-go-seek, running around, just being a kid. In 2006, I moved across country to have fun and experience moving away. And in 2008, I had my son, Oliver, my cool kid. In 2010, I was working as a pharmaceutical technician and I was six months pregnant with my second son. On December 5th, 2010, I woke up to get ready for work and I wasn't feeling well, so I decided to go to the hospital. In the hospital, they gave me a sonogram and saw that the baby's heart rate was super low and it was either have the baby right then and there at six months or risk me passing away from carrying him. So I made the decision to have the C-section. During the C-section, things just spiraled out of control. When I first saw Shannon, uh, she was on life support. My grandchild didn't survive. Shannon had uh, septus, pneumonia. She had complications from blood clots in her arms and legs. She wasn't getting a proper blood flow or circulation. Her fingers and toes were starting to change colors. Three weeks after she had been in a coma on life support, I came in and she woke up. When I woke up from the coma, I was on a ventilator. My body was shutting down. I had liver and kidney failure. I was on 24-hour dialysis, and the necrosis was moving up my thighs, moving up my legs. The doctors came in and told me that they were gonna have to amputate both arms and legs. So. So after I just realized that it was gonna have to happen, I just, it was almost like, let's just go from there. Let's just, let's just do the operations and just move on from there. I didn't, you know, want to try to keep on making things worse, you know, going with the necrosis in and me going through dialysis and me having liver failure. I just want, I thought that having the amputation was just gonna stop everything. I've had to have um, 17 surgeries, procedures, skin grafts, revisions, instruments put in. I definitely think that my son, God, my family is, is the reason why I'm able to be here today. I've been through the worst, but at least I'm still alive and I'm able to be a support system for my son and uh, watch him grow up. I'm still Shannon.